Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from AirVenture 2012 at Oshkosh, Wisconsin. One of the ways we can make the YouTube counter go off scale high is to do a video on flying cars. It's not because everybody thinks they're going to work out, it's that they like to see people attempt to make them work. Now Trey Johnson has a different idea in that instead of a flying car, he's created what he calls a rotable airplane and we're here at the Glass Air booth to take a look at that. Basic design philosophy requires that we introduce no new points of failure for flight. So this means we need a separate drive engine for, drive, for the ground mode. And the power pod has a little 50 horsepower, four stroke, single cylinder, liquid cooled uh, Kawasaki engine. Has five speeds forward, one speed in reverse. And it makes a bit of noise, but it's very lightweight and it pushes the plane along nicely, even up to highway speeds. I've had it up to 73 with no problem and the general stability and drivability is better than I actually thought it would be. We have a uh, rack and pinion steering system, which is manual, and it's nicely balanced. There's not a lot of force on the wheel, and it's pretty quick steering ratio, so it's actually kind of fun to drive. The suspension is, uh, we're, we're still tuning the suspension and trying various different spring rates. Uh, right now we have a very tight spring rate, which is, uh, actually preventing any body roll and, and feels, uh, feels kind of fun. We think we'll want to soften it up a little bit just to have a little more room, but the ride's very good with the long wheelbase and the good suspension. The height change is about a foot between the drive mode and the flight mode, uh, which gives a, a dramatic change. Uh, we've maintained the stock prop clearance in the flight mode, so the plane looks pretty much like that stock sportsman right there uh, in the flight mode. And of course, we're very low here in the drive mode uh, to keep the CG low and uh, you know increase the stability. Transition, uh, if, you, if you take it from the point of view of you just landed and you park, you leave the wings in the drive mode, you lower the front, you put the ramp on there and roll the power pod into position, hook it on, then you swing the wings to the drive mode and off you go. Design goal is 10 minutes. We're currently still at about an hour and we're working hard to meet the design goal. We are not ready to lock in a price, but we're hoping to keep the price of our kit below 60. The plane driven ready sportsman, which is available now from Glass Air, uh, you can order one now that's ready, ready for the plane driven kit. It has a few reinforcements and bulkheads and uh, a few changes in the cage, but it's, it's almost the stock sportsman. And that's available now for 210,000. So 270,000 is the hoped for uh, price. And we're just not gonna say when. We've been working on it about two years and all we have left to finish is the transition. So we're hoping it's soon.